Denmark has announced it will eliminate the country's entire population of farmed minks after mutated coronavirus strains were reported among the animals. More than 15 million will be culled. In some cases, the mutated virus also infected people. Medical experts fear that could jeopardize the effectiveness of future COVID vaccines. There are more than 1,300 mink farms in Denmark. Many of them are in the municipality of Jochum, including Bjarne Petersen's. The virus reached his farm in early September. He clearly remembers that day. It was like a wave passing through the stables. It began at one end with the animals sneezing and losing their appetite, and it kept spreading. But one week later, on the following weekend, it was over. The animals were healthy again. Bjarne Pedersen also contracted the virus. Now, to be on the safe side, all of his 10,000 mink will be culled. He never imagined that Denmark's mink farms could develop into hotspots. It is thought that the coronavirus stems from the animal world. It is believed to have first jumped from a bat species to humans via the pangolin in China. On Denmark's mink farms, it is now jumping back to animals from humans. Once a mink is infected, the virus spreads to almost all of the animals on a farm in less than two weeks. Virologists are concerned about this extensive transmission. Anders Fromsgaard's team analyzed the mutation on the mink farms and found it matched the virus found in some people in the region who fell ill. We can see exactly how the virus spreads. It comes from humans, it is transmitted to minks, where it spreads en masse and mutates in a manner we don't see in humans. And then it jumps back to the human population and thus to the rest of the world. Every third corona case in northern Jutland can already be traced back to the mink farms. Exactly how it spread is still unclear. But with ever more mutations in circulation, especially those from animals, the pandemic will become difficult to stop. A vaccine could lose its effectiveness. And the people who have been ill might not be immune to the mutation. So we would never achieve herd immunity. And that is why culling task forces are now rapidly traveling through Denmark. The animals are killed with carbon monoxide in boxes like this one. They are then immediately incinerated, along with their valuable fur. Protective gear is mandatory, as any animal might be infected. We have to kill 39,000 minks on this farm. We'll be busy for two and a half days. We have 30 workers, five vets, and a standby team of five to ten men here. They will need at least another four weeks to work their way to all the farms. A total of 160 farms are affected, and there are suspicious cases on many more. Millions of minks have yet to be called.